Hey, welcome to Lost Skis. I'm Blaine. And today on Nike vs. Jordan, we're going to go to the year 1989 and take a look at two classic shoes. First, if you can't tell, we're going to be looking at the Air Jordan 4. And second, the, Air, the Nike Air Flight 89. So let's take a look at the 89 first. So one of the first things about the 89 that stands out is obviously the huge Air Flight branding on the front tongue. And on the inside of the tongue, I guess there's only one tongue front, there's no back tongue, there's a hill. But on the inside of the tongue, you also see that it says Air Flight and it sticks on a little tab. On the back hill, there's the iconic Nike Air branding. Um, and then if you look down at the bottom, there's a very, very familiar sole that I'm sure we're all familiar with, with the Nike stamp on the bottom. Uh, a few other elements, there is kind of this net going on on the tongue some preparation and a very staggered blocking um, that is very familiar with other shoes made around this period. Uh, last thing that I would like to call it about this shoe is you would notice that this one is actually a new buck material. Um, some of the originals also came in leather as well as suede. And if I'm not mistaken up until this point, that was never done on a Nike basketball shoe. I know Canvas were on like Chuck Taylors, but Nike didn't own them back then. Great. Now let's look at the uh, the four. So obviously let's start with the first similarity. There's that, there it is, the sole. Identical sole, color blocking's a little bit different in this particular model, but in others it would look a little bit more similar. Um, there's the Nike branding on the heel. Difference here, you got this tab, right? Um, if you look at the tongue, it's also webbed or netted. The material's a little bit different, but it's the same It's the same aesthetic. Um, on the tongue, you have the Jordan logo with the Flight logo from the Flight series, also found on the Flight 89, right? And if you look at the tongue, instead of Air Flight, what do you, what do you know? Air Jordan. Who would have thought? And that's basically all the similarities. Um, the color blocking, like I said, isn't the same on this one, but the layering is also the same. You'll notice this upper is also suede um, compared to the new buck that was found on the 89, this particular one, but also you would get a suede or a leather in the Air Jordan. Um, side note, my favorite Jordan of all time is the Air Jordan 4 in the military blue colorway. And here that is. Um, I don't think it's been retro with the Nike stamp on the back. So this is a pair that I got when I used to work at Foot Locker back in the day. Um, it has the Jordan branding on the back. It's a little bit of a lower cut. Um, but, oh, and also, funny, this one's half leather, but the toe is actually suede. I don't know if you can see that from here, but if you've seen a pair of Military 4s, uh, you would know that it's kind of like a blend. And it's not white. It's like an off-white color. Not off-white like the brand off-white, off-white like eggshell. Anyway, let's get down to it. So you had these two shoes, and like we've discussed before, you know, there's the Jordan brand version. So for the guys that love Mike, Chicago Bulls fans, guys that wanted to be like Mike, they could get the Jordan 4s and go that route. For the guys that maybe didn't like Mike or that were maybe Ron Harper fans, uh, he was actually the guy that was running with the Flight Series at the time. Funny story, Jordan brand actually wanted to put Jordan on in front of the flight brand, but ultimately decided to keep him in Jordan by himself, even though the flight brand, he made it onto his shoe, and they chose Ron Harper to run with the flight branding. Coincidentally, Scottie Pippen also wore the Flight 89 in a, um, in a Chicago Bulls colorway. That's very similar to the Retro Jordan 4 Alternative 89 colorway, just red and white. Go figure. And later, Ron Harper actually ended up playing with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Funny story, funny how that works. Anyway, as I said, for me, the Air Jordan 4 in the military blue colorway is my favorite, so it's a no-brainer here for me between the Retro 4 or just the Jordan 4 and the 89 Flight, I'm going with the 4. But what do you guys think? Which one would you have preferred to wear? Or today, which one do you prefer to wear? Thanks. See ya.